Hi guys, Irina here and welcome back to my channel where I review everything tech. In today's video, I want to compare the cameras of these two phones, the iPhone 12 and the Google Pixel 5. Both of these phones have two cameras, the main cameras and the ultra-wide cameras, and also these phones are pretty close in terms of their price points. As always, in this camera test, we'll take a look at some random daylight photos, night shots, zoomed photos, portraits and so much more, and at the end of this video, I'll test the side-by-side video quality and stable. Let's quickly talk about the camera specs of these phones. While we have pretty similar specs when it comes to the main cameras of these phones, as you can see, the Pixel 5 stands out when it comes to the ultra-wide camera, with its 16 megapixels and slightly larger aperture of 2.2. And I'll talk more about all the differences between these cameras as we go along. Let's start with the photos taken in the portrait mode. And here it's important to know that when you take portraits on the Pixel 5, it uses the 2x zoom, while the iPhone 12 shoots portraits as is with no zoom. And that's why the backgrounds look different in these portraits. It's zoomed in the photo from the Pixel 5, and it's not zoomed in the portrait from the iPhone 12. When it comes to separation from the background, as you can see, both of these phones produced pretty good shots. I can't see any obvious flaws here and yes these photos look slightly different in terms of colors but i think it comes to personal preferences and let's take a look at the next two portraits despite the fact that i usually prefer portraits taken with zoom just like on the pixel 5 since the photos look more realistic to me in terms of background and proportions i must say that capturing this stunningly beautiful sky is only achievable in the portrait mode with no zoom just like on the iPhone 12, since you can fit more of the sky into the frame. And in this case, I think having both zoom options in the portrait mode would be amazing, so you could adjust your frame depending on the background, but unfortunately, these phones don't give you this option. And let's talk about zoomed photos. Neither of these phones have a telephoto camera, so they both have to rely on the digital zoom and software of their main cameras. And when it comes to two times zoom photos, I would say both phones did a pretty good job, even if we zoom into these photos, they both look pretty sharp to me. Now let's take a look at these three time zoom photos. I would say the photos from the Pixel 5 look slightly more contrasty, especially if you look at the Statue of Liberty. At this point, I think the phones with telephoto cameras would take much better shots here, but it is what it is and I think these shots are pretty much equal in terms of quality. However, while the 5x zoom is the maximum zoom for the iPhone 12, the Pixel 5 can do it up to 7x. And a few more zoomed photos for you guys. These photos were taken in the dusk. And a few night photos for you guys. And now let's take a look at some random daylight photos and you can judge them for yourself.
next category in this camera test is the ultra wide photos. The main difference between these ultra wide cameras is the different field of view, which is 120 degrees on the iPhone 12 versus 107 degrees on the Pixel 5. And as you can see, this difference is pretty noticeable. We can fit more into the frame with the iPhone 12. The good thing is that both of these phones have the night mode on their ultra wide cameras. The only thing is that you have to switch to the night mode on the Pixel 5 and then choose the ultra wide angle, while on the iPhone 12 you just choose the ultra wide angle and the night mode is on automatically. And if you ask me, I think the automatic night mode is so much more convenient. I wish it was automatic on every smartphone. Let's switch to the front cameras of these phones. We have a 12 megapixel camera on the iPhone 12 and an 8 megapixel camera on the Pixel 5. Both of these phones will let you take wide angle selfies, which is great. And let's take a look at some selfies. These selfies were taken in the dusk and, as you can see, the iPhone 12 produced slightly brighter photos and made my face look better exposed. Let's take a look at the videos shot with the selfie cameras. The stabilization is pretty good on both phones, but it's pretty obvious that the stabilization is better in the video from the Pixel 5. Let's not forget that we have the night mode on the front cameras as well. Honestly, I'm not a fan of night selfies because you have to stay still for a few seconds and not blink, which is really hard when it's cold outside, but sometimes you really want to take those selfies despite the low light and it's really good to have the night mode. And now let's test the sound quality and the video quality of these selfie cameras. So this is the sound from the iPhone 12. And now I'm switching to the Google Pixel 5. So this is the sound from the Pixel 5. What do you think, guys? It was getting dark, so I have a few photos taken in the dusk to show you guys. Finally, let's take a look at some random night shots. So all of these photos were taken in the night mode. The sky in the shots from the Pixel 5 is noticeably blue and I would say this is how the majority of the night photos from the Pixel phones look and I think the blue sky looks nice, but as always it comes down to personal preferences. We get pretty crisp night photos from both of these phones and it's hard to say which phone does a better job at taking night photos. Let me know what you think. And a few more night photos for you guys. Now let's talk about the videos. Both of these phones are capable of shooting 4K videos up to 60 frames per second, but let's start with a stabilization test. By default, the videos from the Pixel 5 are slightly zoomed, so that's why everything looks a little bit closer. And speaking of stabilization, I think the video from the Pixel 5 looks better stabilized to me. The iPhone 12 does a really good job here as well. However, the videos from the Pixel 5 are like super still. Also, I was really curious about the stabilization of the ultra wide cameras on these phones, but as you can see, there is nothing to worry about since the stabilization is really good on the iPhone 12 as well as on the Pixel 5. Let's move on to some random daylight videos and you can judge them for yourself.
and a few night videos for you guys. I hope this camera test was helpful for you, if so, give me a thumbs up. Really curious to know what you think about the differences between these cameras and which one you like best. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one!